A A A. It's your boy Abu A B U. Cause you can't be me. And we back at it again with a new video. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Mind the outfit. I just left the house, so you already know, man. So wait. But before we get into the video, y'all do me a favor. Y'all like. Y'all comment. And y'all subscribe. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get connected. Hit the thumb up. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. But anyway, today we finna talk about one specific topic. We are talking about the virgin birth. Right? We're gonna talk about the virgin birth of Christ. Right? And what makes the virgin birth of Christ different from all pagan religion? Because what you notice that a lot of people are going to talk about raw, horse, and the Greek mythology and speaking of all how all of these stories had the father, the son, and the mother, and the son were born a virgin birth, right? So what made this specific story in the Bible different? So let me explain. I'm gonna start by quoting the scripture. It said, The word was God, the word was with God, and the word became a living flesh. The word was God. The word was Yahweh. The word was with Yahweh. The word became a living flesh. Yahshua. Jesus. And it dwelt among men. Jesus dwelt among men. But men accepted him not. They crucified Jesus because they did not accept him. But right there in the word it tells you that Jesus and God is one and the same. Yahshua and Yahweh is one and the same, right? So look, most people will argue, how can Jesus and God be the same person, right? But when Jesus said on that cross, he said, Father, forgive them, for they not know what they do. Why is he speaking to himself out of character in third person, right? Or when somebody said, told Jesus that he was great, Jesus responded and said, why do you call me great? I am not great. Nobody is great but the Father. So why is he separating himself? See, let me tell you something. All pagan religion do carry this same verse. Bro. This will make this one different. God said that he's a jealous God. See, but it's a rule. It's a rule in earth that if you that if you dwell in the earth, if you live in the earth, you must travel with a body. God had to come down in the flesh. He had to come down in a vehicle that was made from earth. So he had to come down at Jesus, at Yahshua. So when he came, he wanted to make sure that he came and did his mission. Died for our sins so that all of us can be saved. But when Jesus died, Jesus never said, hey, I will stay here and remain here with you guys. No, he said, I will leave the Holy Spirit. Because Jesus was only a man, right? One of a kind, a special. He was 100% man, 100% God, but he was a man. Once he died and leave earth, he left earth. So he had to leave the Holy Spirit for us, right? And God wanted to make sure that y'all need to accept Jesus. Y'all need to accept the fact that I came down here and died for your sins in order to reap my kingdom, to receive my kingdom. I need to accept that I came down as a man and died for you guys' sin. But God makes sure, through, Jesus makes sure through every step of the way, He already reminds you to worship the Father. Because when He leaves, you must call on the name of Jesus to have access to the real power, which is God, which is Yahshua, which is Elohim. I said Yahshua, which is Yahweh. But you gotta accept. That God himself came down as Yahshua, as Jesus, and died for your sins. Let me say that again. God knew that when he came down as Jesus, that y'all would no longer worship him, but you guys would start to worship the name Jesus, right? That you always start to praise the name Jesus and leave out God himself. So he makes sure for every step of the way that he said, it is not me, it is the Father. But it's not him saying that I am not the Father. It's him saying that I am not who you need to, me and my human form is not who you need to worship. You need to worship me in the spirit. 
you need to worship me in the spirit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So let me jump on another one. Because I had this argument with someone. Should I say we have, I had this conversation with someone the other day. And it was like, there were stories. There were stories of the miracles of Jesus. The story of the virgin birth of Jesus before Jesus was born himself. That the other stories of all these pagan religions did it first. And I need to break that down and explain how can this be possible to him. And the truth is this. Jesus said he saw Satan fall out the sky like a falling star. Or was it a burning star? He saw him fall out the sky like a star. Jesus saw, saw Satan fall out the sky like a star. Satan knew of Jesus. Jason, when, when, when Satan was in was in the um, Satan knew of Jesus when Satan was in the garden and God spoke directly to Adam Satan heard Satan knew what was said to who Adam when Jesus was work doing his ministry on the earth and would pop to the top of the mountain Satan spoke to who Jesus and what he said to Jesus he quote he quoted scripture he knew scripture he knew how when many times is up he know how he lose Satan knows everything about the word. He knows the word better than we know the word. So these fallen angels came down and created the false stories of the story that was soon to come. How can this, how can this be proven with scripture? I can prove it right here where we have the Antichrist coming to do basically what God was to do. Coming to disguise itself as Jesus coming back down to earth because he knows Jesus is going to come back down to earth. So he's going to do it first to deceive as many as he can. They did the same thing when the religion, they knew that the religion of Israel, the religion of the Hebrew people was going to come amongst men. But we're going to make all these false mythologies to miss God and the people. Hmm? Let that so, let that so. Now I'm going to hit y'all with one last one, one last one. And that's why the virgin birth. Why, can, why did he have to do a virgin birth? God had to be born of a woman in order to be a man. In order to be dwelt in the earth, he had to be born of a woman. But it's God. He can't come here regularly. He gotta come on. He gotta come on earth off a miracle. It was a miracle to be born of a virgin. It was a miracle to be born of a virgin. See. God was going to be born as a man. See, women got to punish men for the sin that Adam and Eve committed. Women got to punish men, which was birth, which was given to them birth, that every woman have their spring, which is giving birth, right? And every man got the same thing from Adam, which is working, working that thing, working the power, got to work for that dollar. Jesus came as a man. He came as the son of God, but he did not come of Adam. So he came a perfect man. Born a miracle, born in a miracle way. And born sinless. But yeah, man. Hey, I just wanted to give y'all a quick jewel on that, you know? I just wanted to break it down. You know, I'm gonna go into more details on videos like these, but it's a lot of people that's trying to pull you over to these pagan religions. And these are the type of things that they say. So that's why I make sure we don't I don't deal with religion. I say the God of the Bible. Not Christian, not Catholic, not Muslim, not Arab. The God of the Bible and the story of the Holy Bible. Him his birth.